I've been doing the detox for now four weeks. So, because I wanted to test it and everything. So I'm cut, as you can see, like crazy. Good morning, girls! Oh! Today is the day the detox is starting. I'm so excited. This plan is more thorough than my other ones. I do more of a workout breakdown, so it's gonna be unreal. You're gonna have such amazing results, you're gonna feel amazing. The whole point of this is to help you feel better about yourself so that you feel more confident with this bikini season, festival season coming up. I find that when you take care of yourself, you are able to boost your confidence and you feel more secure in yourself because you know the work and effort and energy you've put into yourself. So it's all about self-love, it's about taking care of yourself. You have to really listen to your body. If you feel hungry, you need to eat more. If you feel like you're eating too much, take out the snacks. You really have to adapt it to your body how you feel. But the free Coachella meal plan you can download on my website, www.fitwithcambry.com. We're gonna, I have it on my phone, so each day I just follow it. Tip for you guys, when you look over the tips for success, the biggest one is not eating late at night. You have to drink tons and tons of water. Also, the biggest thing I can say to you guys is make sure to check the, the, the day, the night before, so that, because some days you have to make overnight oats, you have to prep your food, you need to, if you have school or work and you have a busy schedule, you need to know ahead of time how to plan your day. So before you go to sleep, look at the meal plan for the next day so you know what's coming if you need to prep it ahead of time, because this is, needs to be a priority in your life. These next two weeks is about you, you becoming healthier, you becoming, putting yourself first. So you need to put yourself first, make this a priority, and you'll have amazing 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 results you're gonna feel incredible I've been giving um, I've been testing out the products with some friends for the last few months and every like they're like I can't believe it like they're like I just can't believe how much I'm going to the bathroom how good the shakes are how good I feel how fun it is also the recipes we're gonna be eating pancakes like it's just a joke so it's day one we start each day with positive affirmation the biggest thing uh, one of the other biggest things is is your mental state during all of this you have to come from a place of self-love and self-care in order to have sustainable long, long-term results. If you're doing this like, oh, I hate my body, I need to change it, I need to lose weight, it's not going to work. You're going to be stressed, you're going to hold on to weight. If you're happy, you're healthy, you're glowing, it all comes from self-love. So the positive affirmation this morning is, I am, pow I am a powerful light source capable of anything I set my mind to. I need you to repeat this 10 times in the mirror. It feels weird, but it's going to set the tone of your whole day. And it's true. You are whatever you tell yourself you are. It's all in our power. Let's start with the first meal of the detox. It's a protein shake with the glowing goddess greens powder. It's going to help give you caffeine, energy, spike your metabolism for the day. It has amazing greens, tons of spirulina, chlorella, broccoli, all your like literally daily greens in one little scoop and there's tons of caffeine in it so it just gives me a crazy boost in the morning. If you use this you're going to feel the difference. Um, this is also available on my website. The base is blueberries. You can really adapt this shape to however you like. If you have different ingredients you want to use, this is just a guide but it's very simple cup of blueberries, scoop of the glowing green goddess powder, one tablespoon of almond butter. This is gonna keep you full energized for the morning. Um, but if you wanna adapt it, use strawberries instead. You can use chocolate protein or vanilla protein. They both taste great. I'm gonna do vanilla today, switch it up. Do chocolate the next time. Two scoops of vegan protein. You can try any other ones, but they will not compare at all to the taste and creaminess of the Kimberly Body one. Maca powder is amazing for energy. I'd love if you guys could do a little research on it because when you see the health benefits of it, you're going to freak out. It's one of my favorite, favorite superfoods. One tablespoon of maca powder. One tablespoon of chia seeds, which are omega-3 fatty acid. Chia seeds are amazing because they also expand in your stomach, so helps keep you full too. Flax meal, another great fat. So this shake is literally filled with protein, 
fat, greens, it's a superfood smoothie. You're gonna be energized beyond belief, getting so much nutrients to help you guys glow, maintain energy, and vitamins, essential fatty acids that you need. You need to fuel your brain, you need to fuel all these parts of your body that people forget about. Look how delicious this looks. Blueberries, love blueberries for antioxidants. Um, girls, when I make my shakes, I try to use one serving of fruit. You want it thick, this consistency, you have to nail it. it tastes like unbelievable cold ice cream. Mm. You can't even taste the greens powder. Mm. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. The new Glowing Goddess Greens Powder. You're gonna love this. It's filled with so much nutrients and you can't even tell. Greens, broccoli, it? kale, really? spinach, no. chlorella, almond butter, chia seeds, flax meal. Yeah, yeah. You want some granola? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, I can't explain. I know. It tastes, you, I can't go into depth how it tastes because I it's would creamy. say it tastes like a milkshake creamy texture, but sometimes milkshakes, if you drink too much, you feel sick. sick. Like this is like, you feel so good. And if you're doing free detox, make sure to watch these. I'm going to be giving and sharing a bunch of information that I'm may going through with you. Sorry, I just interrupted no, you, but I'm going through it with you guys. You're going to do it We're through. in this together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you do it with a friend. It's so much more fun. You get to cook together, go on hikes together, work out together. So. Yay. We'll see you guys for snack in a little bit. I love this snack because it's some sugar and then it's also fat. So it stays in your system longer and that you have a longer burn. If you just have fruit, it goes right through you where the almonds included will help you have more energy for longer. I just made lunch. This is all from Trader Joe's. This was a mixed veggie mix, brown rice, quinoa, veggie burger, cowboy, whatever, and avocado. So eat as much as you girls need, but we really want fats, carbs, greens, protein on every plate. Faith and I destroyed ourselves at the gym. Like, full destroy. Like, we can't, we're gonna watch TV now and chill probably the rest of the night. But this is a lot of food, so I'm probably gonna eat half of it, eat the other half in an hour, kind of eat slow. Um, but I definitely, like when you burn so much in the gym, you get hungrier and your metabolism spikes up. So all the workouts that we do, does the- your, Wait, does what? your metabolism speed up when you work out? Oh my God, are you kidding? Yes. So like the more you eat, like it just goes through you? Yeah, through you? it just goes through you. Damn. So that's why, like, if you the work out, yeah. you can eat way more. Eat way more when you work out. It's amazing. The nutritionist I work with, Faith at Unbreakable, mm -hmm. he said to me that really changed my perspective on, like, eating. I used to be scared to eat too much food. He's like, you need to eat food to gain weight, and you need to eat food to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, you he's like, you need to keep your metabolism up, fueling yourself, eating more. He's like, you're not eating enough. That's why, like, from being anorexic. Yeah. Afterwards, when they're trying to be healthy, they have their metabolism clean, clean, even. Clean, and they're eating the right amount. They just keep gaining weight because their metabolism completely. It's fucked up. Like I eat That's so much scary. food. I eat a lot of food, mm -hmm. like full breakfast, full lunch, full dinner, snacks. Like this is like, and I just burn it off. Yeah. It just it's burns amazing. through me. That might have just changed my perspective. <laughs> No, when he told me when he told me that, he's like, you need to eat to lose weight. I was like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> I can eat yeah. so much more food. <laughs> I love eating food. It's so I love eating food. And when you eat healthy food, you can eat as much of it as you want. No, yes. Faith went so hard at the gym. I was like, no. I honestly feel better. Healthy. Healthy. I've, healthy. I've done something today for myself. Today. Yeah. Like I usually wake up late and just like. Oh my Faith is making our superfood salad bowls for dinner. We have garbanzo beans, cashews, cucumber, tomatoes, avocado. And then for dressing girls, we just do lemon juice, mm -hmm. olive oil. And you can add however you'd like. Faith's gonna add a little hummus to hers. 
um, however much energy you need and whatever makes you feel good, please do it. But lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Girls, just with the detox, be careful of how much dressing you use. Dressing is an easy way to either change your diet for the better or for the worse, like ranch dressing, avoid at all costs. <laughs> Another thing you guys that's having protein and fats in the salad will help to be full. Most people don't think salads are enough food and energy, but when you have so much different nutrients in one bowl, you actually do stay full. Faith is passed out asleep. From the workout we did, guys. And your appetite increases because your metabolism is boosted and you're burning a lot more. So you need to eat more, make sure you're feeling yourself, so make sure you're stocked up on healthy snacks. All the workouts are gonna be in a separate video because they're so long. If you don't want to put them in each video and make it like two hour long video, so. But, um, I had lunch, dinner, cleaning up my apartment right now, planning a bunch of stuff but tomorrow's breakfast is overnight oats. So you guys, if you want to have them cold and overnight, make sure you put them in the fridge the night before. If you want to have them hot, you can use the exact same recipe in the morning and just cook it on the stove. So I'm gonna do that right now and get that prepped. Eight sleeping, so I have to be quiet. But I'm gonna make you my protein overnight oats. My favorite recipe, you're gonna love them. And then also tomorrow's snack are these protein, so kind of protein balls. So you need to make sure you're prepping tonight so that tomorrow you can have everything ready and you're not going to have time if you're at school or at work. So um, they both are, use very similar ingredients. I'm going to play music so you can just watch this little recipe video. Love it when you say you won't. Love it when you say you won't. Switching for a nigga that can't pay his own. Got me waiting up till you coming home. Uh. Love it when you say you won't. Love it when you say you won't. Switching for a nigga that can't pay his own. In the morning, we'll add some fruit on top, maybe a little drizzle of almond butter. If you guys are being really strict on this plan and like want to tone up or lose more weight than other people per se, um, then cut out the toppings, cut out the almond butter. But I stay pretty fit and healthy all year round, so I like add a little bit of extra things but if you're really really trying to be super strict you could take out things as well now the amazing thing with these overnight oats is that most of the time oatmeal is just straight carbs we add the protein powder we add the protein so it's a more balanced meal and will keep you full longer so key is staying full having energy by using all the major food groups into all your meals but all you do is put this in the fridge and wake up and eat it now we're gonna make the Fit with Cambry protein oat balls. You guys, I've been doing the detox for two weeks now, so my like binge night bloating picture is, is I, I've been doing the detox for now four weeks. So, cause I wanna test it and everything. So I'm cut, as you can see, like crazy. So I just can't believe how amazing the results are, how great I feel. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to feel the same. So, I was gonna say, yeah, we're making these oat balls. So, with the oat balls, um, you make, we're gonna make a bunch of them, maybe six, eight, and they can stay in your fridge, and they're a perfect little snack. If you're hungry, you just grab one, um, keep them in your fridge. They have oats, almond butter, peanut butter, protein powder so you can add chia seeds whatever you really want to them um just make you can follow the basic recipe but if you want to add things take out things you totally can experiment with the taste and flavor of it but i'm going to show you my favorite little recipe you been moving said she like the way that i do it now she you girl i've been zooming came through wonder influence know these lame niggas got you piped up said it you ain't trying to get wiped up Try us. 
pussy for a nigga that can pay his own. Got me waiting up till you get home. Fall through, let me get it rocking, yeah. I did. So easy once we get it. We have a quick balanced snack, carbs, fat, protein, sugar. Oh, it tastes like oatmeal cookie dough. I'm not kidding at all. Put these in the fridge. They're so good cold. Such a good snack, especially if you have sweet tooth. It really tastes pretty sweet. So make sure you add the ingredients periodically. Taste test it. You don't want it to be too sweet, overpowering. Um, but feel free to add all different types of seeds in them. I really wish I had some coconut flakes. It would be really good in this too. Just put these in the fridge. Both those recipes literally took four minutes each. <sighs> Make sure you're drinking enough water too. Big, big, big step. Um, quick, easy recipes. Everything's super quick, easy, fun. You're going to feel so good. I can't wait for day two tomorrow. I'm going to go to sleep now. Finishing it off with my two with Cambry uh, deep low magnesium supplements it's just pure magnesium um, if you want to know more about the health benefits go to scientific websites because people don't seem to trust what I have to say but there's lots of scientific research behind magnesium and all the amazing benefits it has for your body I've been taking these supplements for years I take two take one depending on how How your body is start with one then try two you're gonna wake up and take the best bathroom of your whole life i'll we'll see you girls in the morning for breakfast and another day bye good morning girls it's day two of the detox i woke up feeling like shit not physically, just mentally. It's always my mental state that suffers. It's just, I just, it's really hard for me to stay present. I get stuck on things. My head runs in circles. I overwhelm myself with work and don't take any time to relax or enjoy life. <laughs> and I just do everything with like an end goal and like I just need to relax. And so that's the hardest thing for me is just learning to like do things with just just do things for joy, not for business, relationships, like just like, oh, just enjoy the present moment and it's the hardest thing ever to do. So the morning affirmation is, I am beautiful and a radiant soul. I accept and deeply love myself. I am a beautiful and radiant soul. I accept and I deeply love myself. Wow. Wow, I have a really big meeting this morning. I've got to get my energy state up high. The state you operate in life, you're either a highly vibrational person where you have high energy and things just mat radiate and mag come towards you, or you're low vibrating where you're just like depressed and low energy, and I'm low energy right now. And before I have an important meeting, I need to get my energy state really high. So how I do that is, it's really weird, but I do a little bit of jumping jacks, some stretches, and repeat those affirmations to myself to get my mind energy up. So we're making overnight oats and I just pretend to be happy and then it just like comes to me. So making overnight oats for breakfast. I made these overnight oats last night as you saw. So they're in the fridge and they're just perfectly done. If you guys are going super extreme on the detox, just keep them as is. If you want to add a little bit of fruit and almond butter drizzle on top, you can do that too. It's totally up to you. I put a lot of protein in these, probably a little bit too much. You can want one scoop of protein, not two. So I'm gonna eat these right out the door. I'll see you guys for a snack. It's so amazing that I prepped the oats and the protein balls last night because I have a busy morning this morning, so I don't have time. So it's already made for me. And then the protein oat balls, I'm just going to bring with me in a little bag, baggie, and eat when I'm hungry in a few hours. So I'm 
I'm gonna bring two little oak balls with me and put them in my purse. I have these. And I'll see you guys for, and then I'm gonna work out after all my meetings. And I'll see you guys for lunch after my workout. Get a juice. Get it. If you girls are getting juices on the detox, get make sure to get juices that have no sugar. This is all greens. Can you get me one of those? No fruit sugar. Crucial. I'm prepping lunch. And these are sweet potato fries just from Trader Joe's already cut. They'll definitely be a lot better in the oven, but I'm crunched for time. So this is the quinoa cowboy veggie burger from Trader Joe's as well. I'm gonna put that in the olive oil and I'm gonna put the sweet potato fries in the coconut oil just for some different flavor. Ah, don't merge, no! And these are just cooking. I like everything super crispy, so I'm gonna leave these on the stove for a while. Also, just a rule of thumb, I don't really specify dressings on the meal plan because it's, it's really hard to calculate and become kind of obsessive with. Also, I don't really put seasonings on the meal plan, but just so you know, I typically use like one to two tablespoons of oil per meal, either coconut or olive oil, and then I use garlic, salt, and pepper, and lemon juice. Like, that's pretty much it for the whole meal plan. Yeah, that is it. And a little bit of soy sauce sometimes, but I use like one tablespoon maximum. But look at this. So good, you guys. The oven will take way longer. This took so quick. I just turned the stove on really high, so they got crispy fast once they cooked through, def defrosted. Mmm. Way too good. That is way, 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 way too good. I love ketchup. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And when you work so hard in the gym and oh. so easy to make, you guys. I don't think you understand. Mmm! This burger, it's so easy, but it looks so impressive. Like, you made a full burger. I would say I probably made one cup of them, and there's five cups in a bag. Each cup has 160 calories. Plus the coconut oil. Adds quite a bit. This is probably, it looks like a small meal, you guys, but this is probably close to 400, 450 calories. The avocado, oils. So, definitely need to change your perspective on how much food is. You can't do it based on what size it looks like, because those superfood salads I make have so many calories in them, and people would look at a salad and be like, oh my god, you're not eating anything. But when you count the cashews, the avocado, the garbanzo beans, the olive oil, it adds up to be like 400 calorie salad so yeah don't don't go by look of size of food go by the actual nutrition nutritional ingredients in cal how calorically dense it actually is each item okay i'll see you guys later it's time for dinner it's taco tuesday we're making healthy super delicious tacos these are the ingredients we're gonna be putting the tacos in romaine. Um, some tomatoes, bell peppers, salsa, coconut oil, taco mix from Trader Joe's. This beefless ground beef is amazing, but it has gluten in it, so if you have a gluten intolerance, don't get this. I recommend you dice up tempeh or tofu instead. Salsa, black beans, garbanzo beans, lettuce, brown rice. Let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is cook the vegetables. I'm doing one tablespoon of coconut oil. And now girls, the important thing to remember is uh, that oils, they're great for you. You need it for your brain health. Don't be scared of the calories. I used to be scared of the calories and oils, but they're crucial for the health of your brain. Many other important functions of your body, but it's also important to not drench things and use too much when unnecessary, unneeded. So do one tablespoon of coconut oil for the vegetables one tablespoon of olive oil for the beef and all i do is i literally bring the, the groundless beef into the olive oil it takes five minutes to make you're gonna 
freak out. Doesn't look amazing right the second. Looks like wet dog weeks. food for now. <laughs> this is coconut oil. Co I like using different oils because it adds different flavors. Woo. We're cooking for two, me and Julie here. So if you're cooking for one, you can make it fit for later if your parents or just use half the ingredients, whatever you prefer. Now for seasoning, I use a very simple seasoning. I literally do garlic. garlic. Oh. Um, yeah, that, oh, I'll help you out here. Okay. Now, your utensils. Vegetables, me and Julie, we're going bell peppers for our sauteed vegetable. So each meal, we need protein, we need vegetables, we need fat. Everything needs to be balanced. Fats, <laughs> oils. Balanced, but not too excessive. All we've done here is put them into Little piles, added brown rice, black beans, some bell pepper. Yeah, because we'll just save it for later. I don't like when the food touches each other. Oh. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> and now, we're just gonna add the taco seasoning to the meat. Add it, as, add it, then taste it, add it, then taste it, so you don't add too good. much. <laughs> Yum. I'm plating my food. Taco meat on each bed of lettuce. Oh my gosh. You guys are gonna freak out. Look at look how delicious this looks. So quick and easy. Eat as many as you till you feel good. You want to feel full, nourished, not blo you won't be bloated at all from this. Oh my god. Julie. Is it good? Really? Really? It's too good. Mm. I'm really happy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm excited. I already ate two of mine. I'm waiting because they're that good. Julie's about to try it for the first time. You get that like taco craving. Mm -hmm. that all the flavors without any of the bad oils, fried foods. Super clean with wow. all the best flavors. It's better than a taco. Yeah, it's really it's crazy. Way better than a taco. We have this leftover. We just put everything together. This is great. Snack. Chip dip. Chip dip for your Parents, little present maybe. You can put it. Ooh. It's good anytime. Cold, it's good, yeah. so good cold, but me and Julie cle topping. cleared our plates. Yeah, anything, you guys. Hey, I'm going to sleep. Last thing I'm doing is taking my two magnesium supplements. It's been a great two days of the detox. I'm tired. And I'll see you guys soon for day three and four. Keep working hard, stay focused. It's such a short amount of time. Also, I never say to subscribe, but if you guys enjoy my videos, I would love if you could subscribe so you can just stay updated with me and um, comment any feedback you have. Everything is really important to me. Good night, girls. Yeah, I came up now, hold on, change up. Need my chain bust down, it's a glacier.